Good evening. Hello, everyone. And uh, thank you very much for your interest in joining the University of Birmingham. My name is uh, Dr. Yafa Shanaik, as Paul introduced, and I'm head of the postgraduate teaching program here at uh, the Theology and Religion Department. And uh, today I would like to give you a bit about the department, uh, what we offer, how we offer it, and why we think that we are unique in the country in the way um, that we teach religion. I'm also um, a lecturer in Islamic studies, so if you have Islamic specific uh, um, studies uh, questions, um, please do ask. I will give you also some concrete examples from the Islamic studies program that we offer. But um, uh, if you have also other general questions um, um, on our uh, about our other programs, also don't hesitate to um, to ask as well. So, if you are interested in um, um, uh, you know religion as a topic in relation to, uh, for example, um, the, the the relationship between religion and the state or religious communities, how they how they how they live out their religiosity and their religious beliefs, how, can, how they articulate that religiosity within uh, private as well as public spheres and what uh, rules and regulations are set by the state. Um, or if you are interested in uh, the you know, religious ideas and the development of um, religious uh, thought um, and, or, for example, you know, um, uh, interested in, in you know, uh, community state relationships or international relations as well. You know, we are the department really to uh, to join. Uh, why? Because uh, we offer a variety of programs that um, cater for a number of. Yeah, here, that caters for a number of um, interests. There are, you know, various ways that we offer um, or uh, give you a window of how to understand religion, how to study religion. And um, each program has its own unique way of, um, of uh, examining religion, religious uh, traditions, and how religions are uh, lived in communities. And, um, looking at different um, uh, contexts and geographies as well and um, approaching religion from different viewpoints as well. So for example we have religion politics and society is a, a one of our um, you know, fabulous programs looking at the relationship between um, uh, politics and international relations and contemporary uh, in the contemporary world. Um, more general program is our theology and religion um, um, program, where you have the opportunity to look into various religious traditions um, from various perspectives. Islamic studies obviously is also a part of our main programs offered here in the department. We have um, Holocaust and genocide studies, Pentecostal charismatic studies, which is a DL program, by the way. We also have unrest Sikhism and our newly um, um, launched um, uh, faith based leadership program as well. The idea behind such a variety of uh, program offers, and again, this is something unique, unique for our department in the country, that um, we are a department with a very strong interdisciplinary um, makeup. So we have uh, staff coming from various um, disciplines and academic backgrounds. And this variety caters for a wide interest in um, religion and the study of religion. So, for example, if you are more a person who is interested in uh, looking into religion from a historical studies perspective, where you go to archives and you study them and, and research them, then, you know, this is definitely something that we could and would offer you. Or if you are more a person who is interested in politics and conflict and war studies, again, this is something that we can cater for. Or for example, if you uh, like to look into the relationship between religion and, um, and memory studies, here, for example, Holocaust and genocide studies would offer uh, really interesting insights into that area. 
we are very much interested in interdisciplinarity, which means that we, you know, in, in terms of, of teaching approaches and team in terms of assessment, which I will be also talking about um, later in our slides, which means that, you know, we, you, we we, we, we like to open up the discussion around and about religion from, for example, a literary studies perspective or a um, you know, film studies perspective or even art. So uh, whatever interest you have, um, that will be catered for in the program. And the way that this is achieved is through um, the flexible structure of our programs, which I will be talking about now in a second. But before, let's look at who are leading these programs. These are my wonderful colleagues here, and I've, um, um, uh, I've put their names and um, their pictures there as well. If you have specific questions to um, specific programs, please don't hesitate to contact them directly. You will find uh, their details on our website. But if you would like to contact me also, you know, feel free to do so. Um, and But let's take, for example, um, the MA Religion, Politics and Society. And here you have um, uh, two scholars who are brilliant in their subjects leading that program. And here I must say, you know, again, this is something that we are offering here at the University of Birmingham that isn't really uh, found anywhere else. Jocelyn, for example, she's a professor at Harvard University who is at the same time also teaching um, within our department. So here you have, you know, um, a transatlantic perspective on religion, if you like, uh, um, you know, embedded within um, a, a scholar of ours here based at uh, Birmingham. So you will have, you know, the opportunity to work with world leading um, scholars in their fields, which I will be talking about um, in a second when we talk about how we uh, how we teach. But first, let's look at, you know, um, how these programs are uh, structured. And um, generally speaking, obviously, each program has its own uh, unique structure. But generally speaking, what we have is you know, we have three modules in the first semester, three in the second semester, and then you have the dissertation, and that's it. So it's pretty easy that way. Um, uh, obviously, you can, for example, do, do uh, two in, in the first and then four in the second, but this is generally speaking the structure. Um, this, this isn't the case for all the programs, like, for example, the Faith Leadership Program has a, has a totally different structure. Uh, because it's uh, it is part time and it has um, uh, and it is it is specifically targeted to faith leaders, um, but generally speaking, the programs that we offer have that structure of six modules altogether: three in the first, three in the second, plus the dissertation. That's it. So let us look at um, Islamic studies just to have an example of how a year if you're taking it full time, how a year would look like. So as I said, we have um, three in the first and three in the second. And these first three uh, modules are compulsory modules. And there's a reason why this is so. Um, so for example, one of the uh, compulsory modules is the research methods in uh, uh, theology and religion. And the reason why we think that we would need three compulsory modules first is because not all our master students have a background in Islamic studies. So this means that even if you do not have a background in Islamic studies or even in religious studies, you can still join um, TNR at Birmingham because we will always have few modules in each program that will um, um, act or function as a foundation to build on and carry on. So don't worry if you if you are from some other discipline and you are interested in doing a master's in uh, TNR in any of the programs that we are offering. There is no problem at all in that, because, as I said, we do value interdisciplinarity and we are all we as a staff, um, academic staffs, we are all 
uh, from various disciplines and various academic backgrounds. And this can be also reflected and is reflected in our student cohort as well. So an Islamic studies program, you will have three compulsory modules in the first semester, and then you will have three optional modules in the second semester. And um, here we offer a variety of, um, of uh, modules. Um, and it, it, again, you know, it is the programs are structured um, in a way that they are flexible enough to cater for your interest. And uh, so if you are, for example, a history person and you would like to uh, focus on uh, the, de the development of religious thought, then a medieval Arabic uh, thought module would be, for example, um, uh, interesting for you. If you are interested in uh, issues around gender, then obviously the module gender and Islam would be appealing. If you are interested in the sectarian difference within Islam, Shia studies would be something that you could take. If you would like to take a module that is outside of Islamic studies uh, in order to widen your, uh, your horizon and to look into um, other modules, you can take atheism, theology and economics and many, many more. So we have a really long list of modules that you can take in your three optional modules that are usually taken in the second semester. What is also unique in, in our department is um, that we have a partner institution here in Birmingham, uh, which is called Al-Mahdi Institute. And in Al-Mahdi Institute, you will have the opportunity to take modules that they offer for us and meet students there as well. And, um, and uh, that, you know, and have the opportunity to learn together with other um, students of the of the Institute, you can use their library, you can go uh, on their campus. Um, and you can also learn languages if you like as well. So um, the um, uh, Al Mahdi Institute is offering also a variety of languages such as Arabic or Persian, for example, which you could take. If you would like to know more about our collaboration with Al Mahdi Institute, you can click on that slide when you receive them, or you can also go on our website, you will have the um, recording there as well. What makes us special? I really believe that um, we, uh, we are um, taking teaching very serious. And the way that we teach also is very passionate because what we do is we combine our research um, and research interests into our teaching. So which means that we are very much committed to research-led teaching. We, that way we open the door for students to explore various religious communities in you know, different parts of the world. So in other words, um, if you are in Birmingham studying, um, you know, a particular religious tradition, you uh, can have firsthand up to date um, uh, research in uh, insights um, through our own uh, research. And I'm sure Shannon will uh, be able to tell you a bit more about, um, about that and her involvement in, in, um, in uh, learning religion uh, at the Department of TNR. Shannon is our student ambassador who will be speaking after my presentation. Um, Shannon is some, a, a student of ours who, um, who went to Lebanon, for example, and explored or had the opportunity there also to, to uh, explore religion uh, there, which she will be talking um, hopefully about uh, later on as well. So it is again, you know, um, a, a place where opportunities are open for students to, uh, to explore. This is also in addition to, um, again, another opportunity of, uh, uh, you know, for you to actually apply for a study abroad uh, semester, for example. Um, and we will uh, support you in um, finding partner institutions in the countries that you are interested in, um, in order to learn more about their religion, culture, language. Again, this is something that is really um, 
something that we are uh, very passionate about and which you know we um, um, are always happy to support students to you know open opportunities for them to be part of um, you know international uh, experience as well so if you would like to um, what I also wanted to, to, to add something else as well is that, um, you know, we are not one of these departments where, where professors would come uh, with very old piece of paper and, and read, you know, what they have done in the last 20 years. Um, and this is also reflected in the topics that we include. And um, so particularly in, re in, in regards to religion, uh, there's always something going on uh, that, um, uh, you know, some, 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 some challenges or issues or happenings that we integrate into our teaching, even if it wasn't pre-planned. Pre so again, our, not only the flexibility of our programs, but also the flexibility of our own um, teaching interests allows us to include up to date um, issues that um, and 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 challenges, and we incorporate that in our teaching as well. As I said, um, Shannon will be talking about uh, what we do and how we do it in a minute. But if you would like to hear more about students' views, again, here you can find. Um, our YouTube uh, clip uh, on our website, or you can click on that link when you receive the slides. I mentioned at the beginning the uh, wide range of assessments that uh, we offer. And again, here I think it is reflected in our own academic backgrounds and our wider uh, interdisciplinary interests. So our assessments, um, you know, range from the traditional uh, uh, essay writing, but we are also very inclusive and creative in um, our assessment types, for example, including art, photography, posters, um, um, but also in field research. Um, if you are interested in such um, uh, assessment types. And obviously here, if you are more a, a you know, traditional person who likes to, 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 to um, write a 4,000 word essay rather than you know, um, um, work on a poster, then obviously you will have, you will have the modules um, where you can have that type of assessment as well. But what is interesting with such a large department that offers a variety of programs is also um, offering a diverse range of assessment um, types as well. Yes, so that's really it from my side. If you have any questions, please do place them in the um, Q&A um, chat box. And um, if you feel that, um, you know, you would like to uh, probably raise a specific question via email, please also, you know, do so. You can find my uh, email on the slides, but also on the website. And um, again, if you think that you would like to have maybe a, another, um, um, you know, face-to-face -face meeting or you have specific questions that weren't addressed in um, the session today, also, don't hesitate to email me and ask for a um, a meeting if you if you wish so. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, we'll now pass over to Shannon. He's going to give um, a presentation from the student perspective. Okay. So um, I'm just going to share my screen. Um... Okay, so hi, um, my name is Shannon and I am a PhD, I'm currently a PhD student in the Department of Theology and Religion, um, but I also did my undergraduate degree and also my master's degree in the department as well. So um, I chose to do a master's in Birmingham, um, specifically in theology and religion, because I was coming to the end of my undergraduate degree and I still had so many questions that I wanted to explore and I wanted to further my knowledge in the subject um, and towards the end of my undergraduate degree which I'm sure many of you are in the same position um, was I wanted to learn more and explore more so I started looking at the options of master's programs 
And for me specifically, I had such a broad range of interests in around gender and religion and politics in the Middle East. Um, so I found that the MA in religion, politics and society was the best option for me. Um, and I'm currently doing my PhD now, um, which was really shaped by what I studied in my master's and what I learned and what I was taught during my um, MA. So what was really great about doing the master's was the diversity of topics and interests. Um, so the, it, in my cohort, there were so many of us that had, we all did the same degree, technically with the title, but we had so many different pathways into that. Um, and as well in our course, um, I could do modules in philosophy or I could do modules from the politics department as well. Um, so really like my own degree was so unique to me and my own interests. And there was such a broad range of what I could do, um, but it was also really specific as well to what I wanted, which was really great. Um, so it really was a truly interdisciplinary degree, which I didn't find at um, any other university when I was looking for master's programs. Um, also the skills that I learned through my master's was incredibly important and something that's definitely worth highlighting. So particularly around research methods, um, I found that doing that, having a master's program that did that module was really, really, really important because I truly learned um, the different ways I could research and how to, um, and how to take my, and how to take the theory and apply it. Um, so when it came to doing my dissertation in my master's, um, I went and did some interviews, um, which was really, really important. And it was good that I had the background in the theory and training to be able to do that. Um, and it was something that's put me in really good stead for doing a PhD and doing further research as well. Um, so I will also talk about why Birmingham is really great as well. Um, so this is uh, the university as a whole and specifically to the department. Um, so the lectures, seminars and independent study. Um, so most of my degree was, it was, so I did mine over two years um, so I could work because I was a self-funded student at the time. So I had a mixture of lectures and seminars and independent study. Um, and these also just weren't lectures that were for my modules. There was also guest lectures and um, seminar series that you could attend to as well. So things that weren't necessarily related to your degree, but things that would further your knowledge in specific areas as well. Um, and you could also attend PhD student lectures um, or seminars, which are really interesting too. Um, I also found that staff um, are super specialised in their areas and they're really supportive as well. So I could always go and talk during office hours to staff and they would always help me with um, like planning my essays, if my ideas were good um, and to talk through any questions or queries I had. Um, and that was really important to um, to to like make sure that my assignments were the best that they could be. Um, and staff were really approachable and encouraged you to do that, which was um, which made my experience a lot better. Um, and Birmingham is also a multi-faith and multicultural city. So um, it's the perfect place to be studying um, theology and religion as well. Um, so moving on to the more student life and aspect of um, studying at Birmingham. There's 250 groups um, through the games. And these are these range from sports to um, political groups or uh, there's religious groups as well, or just general interesting societies that you want to join. And it's really important as a student that you um, have more of a work-life balance as well. And I found that I, some of my interests that with the degree have their own societies. Um, so I really enjoy joining in those. Um, also, what's really important, especially um, as a, a lot of master students are self-funded and that there's work opportunities too. So um, for Worklink, Worklink's a specific, uh, as a university owned way through, you can get jobs through. So currently I'm a student ambassador. Um, I've also been a research assistant for two academics in the department on their projects. And um, what's really great about Worklink is that they pay above um, the national minimum wage. Um, so it's obviously really good to have extra money and more than I would get when I was working in hospitality or in retail. Um, and what was really good about working for academics in the department was that I got more involved in the department and academic life and got to really see what it was like to undertake research. 
um, and I found this was also really beneficial to do alongside my study as well. Um, there's also excellent sport and study facilities. So there's the brand new sports centre, um, there's a library, um, and there's lots of new study spaces too, um, which are also, some of them are open at the moment as well. And um, regarding living um, when you're in Birmingham as a student, um, there's some, so the university is in Edgebaston, the campus is, um, and there's some areas around Birmingham that are really good for students to live in that are close to campus where you can walk. So there's Selly Oak, which is where the majority of students live, and um, there's Harbourn or there's Edgebaston. And these are usually private lettings, um, or you can live in university accommodation as well, but that's more, um, it's usually more competitive to get into. Um, but you can search on Facebook for groups that you find students in similar positions to you. Um, and this is something I found really helpful. And I could um, get together with some students that I've met online and we could find a house together. Um, and I, it was something that I wish I'd known about when I was um, applying for my master's. So I knew that I had somewhere to live, which is really important. Um, and also if you choose to live in town or you're traveling in for a master's, the university has a train station um, and it's seven minutes to get from the university to New Street, which is really quick. Um, and also being a student in Birmingham um, is really great. There's obviously it's the second biggest city in the UK and there's so many museums and art galleries and cultural sites and so many opportunities too. So um, alongside my degree, which I also found really helpful um, for part of what I was doing in my master's um, was the volunteering opportunities um, I could do as well. So I did a lot of voluntary work with asylum seekers um, which fed into what I was doing with my dissertation at the time um, and there's great nightlife and there's so much to do in Birmingham um, and it's just a really great place to be a student and to study as well. Um, so yeah, um, I'm happy to answer any questions specifically about the course, um, about living in Birmingham, about being a student, what there is to do on campus. Um, I can give you the whole rounded picture. Um, and there's a reason that I've chosen to stay and do three of my degrees in this department. Um, and I would definitely recommend staying here to anyone. So thank you.